Hello friends, I'm Emily, your adaptive fitness trainer helping you keep moving and welcome to Keep Moving with Emily. We are getting in a full body Tabata workout today. If you've never done Tabata before, it is a fun high intensity interval format where you work for 20 seconds, you rest for 10, there's eight rounds in each Tabata. We're gonna be getting in a workout from our head to our toes. The equipment that you're gonna want, a mini band or a booty band, like one of these or a TheraBand would work and a set of hand weights. I've got a fan on and some water to stay hydrated, um, but this workout can be done totally seated. So go on ahead and take a seat and we are gonna get in a nice 20 minute workout. Um, we are going to do the warm up that's up on the board and how it's gonna work is we're gonna hear that Tabata music during our warm up, so we kind of get used to how it feels. But again, working for 20 seconds, resting for 10. If you're ready, let's warm up. All right, when the whistle blows, we're gonna start with a nice neck warm up. So we're gonna look from the right Work. to the Round left. One. Good. Looking right to left. Let's look up and down. If bending your head forward gives you that weird electric thing, just bring head back to, back to neutral. Good. Nice little uh, rest, rest here. Our next one, when the whistle blows, we're gonna be doing shoulder rolls. Go ahead and get started. Sitting up nice and tall, roll those shoulders back. Squeezing in the shoulder blades. And then roll them Work. forward. Round two. Sometimes I like to add in my elbows. Just a little bit more exaggeration. A couple more backwards. Good. Feel free to stick with this or go back to those neck uh, warm up. Kind of looking from right to left if you like during the rest. This is our warm up, so you really want to try to keep moving rest. if we just like march those arms in place. Our next one is um, chest openers. So we're gonna open up the arms nice and big and cross it over. If you'd like to include lower body, you can tap it to the side. Here we go. Three. What I love about this music is it tells us what round we're on. Like I said, we've got eight rounds in each Tabata. Good. We're almost halfway there. Perfect. Keep it up. and shake it out. You can keep marching it out. We're gonna move on to a spinal twist. So I'm just twisting across the body and reaching. I can also keep my arms right here. Here we go. Go on ahead and get started. Work, round nice. four. Core is nice and strong. Sit up nice and tall, reach. Warming up, that's fine. Good, we're already halfway through this warm up. Perfect. Feel free to sing along too if you'd like. Good, shake it out, pump those arms. Rest. Our next one is reach overs. So I'm just reaching up and over. Feel free to get started. Good. Working for 20 Work. seconds. Round five. We're getting in a nice dynamic warm up. Warming up from our head to our toes. Got it. All right, our upper body is nice and warm. We're gonna warm up the lower body. If you have trouble with lower body, feel free to go to the top and do those neck warm ups or shoulders again. Rest. But we're gonna be doing hamstring curls, so you're gonna extend one foot out in front, and we're gonna reach down and big circle, just like so. Good. You can always alternate legs, Round six. or have both legs out in front, reach and scoop. You should feel a nice stretch in those hamstrings and in the shoulders. If you haven't switched legs yet, if you're doing single leg, go ahead and switch. Good. Keep it up. Nice. And pump those Rest. arms. Our next one is knee hugs. So if you want to go on ahead and get started, I'm pulling my knee up, point flexing the toe or rotating in the ankle, and then switching. Good. Work. Nice little Round hip flexor seven. stretch, ankle mobility. Good. I'm just holding for a couple of seconds, gently moving through these moves. Good. Maybe one more on each side. Nice. You got it, we're on our last one already. See, it goes by fast. All right, pump those arms. We're gonna be doing skiers, so I'm swinging arms up overhead and then hinging forward and swinging arms down. Almost like I'm skiing down a mountain. Going ahead and get started, let's go. Round eight. Round number eight, good. Our warm up will be done and we'll move on to what is in store for this workout. Good. Making sure we're breathing, nice big movements here. Perfect, couple more. 
All right, rest. rest. Pump those arms, grab those weights. I'm gonna put our workout up on the screen and we're gonna get going. All right, here we go, friends. Tabatas are up on the screen. We've got four Tabatas. We're gonna focus on Tabata number one right now. How it's gonna work is you've got a strength move and a cardio move in each Tabata. We're gonna go four rounds of the strength, four rounds of the cardio, lots of repetition. Um, and we're gonna knock this 20 minute workout out of the park. So our first movement is called a hinge row to a fly. So we're really working our posterior, our posterior chain, our back and our hamstrings. So you're gonna grab those weights. How it's gonna look is heels are in the ground, toes pointed up, I'm gonna hinge forward. I'm gonna go row and then fly and then sit up nice and tall. Again, we're working for 20 seconds of work. 10 seconds of rest, four rounds of those. Again, we're hinging forward, chest goes towards those thighs. Row, pull elbows up nice and high, lower. Open into that fly, and then sit up nice and tall. So we've got four rounds of those, and then we've got four rounds of narrow to wide. What that looks like is either I'm just going arms wide to narrow punches, just like so. Maybe I'm incorporating lower body with upper body. It's a little bit more tricky. Or I can just pump those arms and wide to narrow feet. That's your cardio move. But again, we're gonna do four rounds of this hinge to row. So if you're ready, let's go. All right, friends, we're on to Tabata number two. We're doing single, single, double shoulder. So up with the right, up with the left, then both. We're there for four rounds, okay? Then after the single, single, double shoulders, with or without weights, we're going knee, knee, jack, jack. Other option, you just tap the knee, Tap the knee, jack, jack. It's gonna be fun, lots of coordination, cardio, and core. Grab those weights, single, single, double shoulders. On the whistle, let's go. Work. Up at the right, Round up one. at the left, then together. Nice. So I've got five pound weights, and the thing is, is my arms are gonna start getting really fatigued, especially by round number four. Good. Woo, rest. Rest. If the weights get too heavy, drop them and just do body weight. If you want to do this one standing, feel free. Just make sure you're doing it in a safe way where you're not going to fall over. Okay? Here we go. Work. Round Up with two. the right, up with the left, then together. So sometimes I change the angle of my arms, almost like goal post arms, like so. Just works a little bit different parts of the shoulders. Good. And maybe the other round I'll do the military press where we face each other. Good, keep it up. Rest. Rest. Woo! So this time I'm gonna do military press. Wrists face each other. Elbows are kind of tucked in nice and tight. Here we go. Work. Round three. Round number three. Maybe we got one more after this with the strength, then we'll move on to cardio. Good job. Woo, these weights are starting to get heavy. Hang on to it, friends. Use that breath. Exhale as you press the weights up. Nice. All right, I'm doing this last Rest. round without weights. There is no shame in listening to your body, all right? Here we go. Shoulder presses, single, single, double. Last Rest. round, Round four. 20 seconds of work. So even though I don't have weights, I'm still thinking about those muscles that I'm working in my shoulders. I'm feeling my triceps. This really helps us to become a little bit more aware of our bodies and what muscles we're working. Let's go. Shake it out. Knee, knee, jack, jack. Get ready for some coordination. You can go twist across the body, two jacks. You can just touch, keep the legs on the ground. Here we go. So this is a great option. A little bit of like a hacky sack jack with those two jacks. Knee, knee, jack, jack. We can go knee, knee, jack, jack. You can also do a seal jack, arms come together like so. Especially if we have shoulder problems, great modification. Nice job. Rest. Three more rounds just like that. If you need to stretch out those shoulders, go for it. Round number two, let's go. Work. Round six. Good, your other option, go knee knee, jack jack. Just nice little knee raise. Good. But I really want you to try to touch opposite hand to that knee, really working the brain and working the body. Good. Woo! Shake it out. Friends, we're doing so good. We're almost there. Stay strong, stay strong. Let's 
Go. Work. Round seven. Round number seven. After this, 20 seconds of work. We got this. Good. This is another good option. Stay strong, friends. Hang on to it. All right. Rest. Big breath in, big breath out. 20 seconds of work. You've got this. I've got this. I'm here with you. I feel the pain. I feel the burn. Let's go. Work. Knee. Round Knee. eight. Jack. Jack. That's also a great option. Twist across the body, bringing that elbow to that knee. Good. Add a little bit more of a spinal twist if that feels good to you. Or you're doing those seal jacks. We're almost done. Maybe one more. Oh, and time. Rest. Grab a swig of water. Our last two Tabatas are going to be a little bit of core. Here we go. All right, these last two Tabatas are going to be super fun. We're going to be working the core this first round. Make sure you have a weight because we're doing rowing abs and weighted sit-ups. Again, four rounds of the weighted abs, four rounds of those rowing sit-ups. Rowing sit-ups, I'm kind of like leaning back slightly, rowing my boat, working those obliques. And then the weighted sit-ups, weights at my chest, I'm leaning back, exhaling forward, elbows to knees, all right? Again, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Friends, by the end of this whole workout, we have worked our full body from our head to our toes, all those major muscle groups. So good, feels so good. All right, grab that weight. If the weight gets too heavy, you can always drop it. I always wanna give you permission to make whatever modifications that feel good. Ready? All right, here we go. Grab that weight, slightly lean back, core is nice and engaged. Work. Row. Round one. Good. So I'm just rowing my boat, twisting slightly. If the weight gets too heavy, like I said, you can always drop it. Still working the upper body a little bit because this weight is Rest. adding resistance as we twist. Good, work those obliques. Here we go, you ready? Lean it back slightly. Work, round two. Nice, slow, big movements if you can. If you've ever, you know, rode a canoe or a kayak, feeling this should feel pretty similar. This weight's like the resistance of the oar in the water. Good, rest. rest. Two more, just like that, and then we're gonna move on to those weighted sit-ups. 40 seconds left of this rowing ab. Row, row, row your boat, let's go. Work, round three. Strong core is everything. Good, core's engaged, three. Friends, we didn't even realize we're already more than halfway done through this workout. It goes by so fast. Time flies when you're having fun with your adaptive fitness trainer, right? Let's go. Round four. Round number four. Last round of these rowing abs. And then we got four rounds of weighted sit-ups. Good. If you enjoy this Tabata, I've got another Tabata workout. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Lots of fun workouts to keep you moving. Woo! Nice Rest. job. Okay, make sure you're sitting on the edge of your chair, weights at your chest. We're gonna inhale back, exhale forward, elbows to knees. Here we go. Work, round five. Round number five, exhale forward, inhale back. Nice. When we exhale, we're engaging the core. Good. We have to get up out of bed. So having these muscles work Rest. nice and strong, so helpful. I'll show you from the side. Good. Ready? Inhale work. back. Exhale Round forward. Six. Good. Other option, you can reach that weight forward. Woo! A little bit of those arms, a little bit of chest. Reach. Good. Rest. We got this last one, and then we are on to our final Tabata. Are right, you ready? 
work. Round seven. Oh no. This is why people have trust issues with trainers. We got one more. <laughs> this is why I love this music. Tells me what number we're on. Or I would be losing track all the time. Thank you, MS Cognition, right? Good. Rest. Right. Now this one's our last one. Promise. For this way to sit up at least. Are you ready? Weight to the chest. Inhale Work. back. Exhale Round forward. Eight. Round number eight. 20 seconds hard. Work that core. Again, if you want to add that little press at the end, go for it. Nice job. Woo! And rest. rest. Grab a quick swig of water. We are on to our final round for some more Tabata core. All right, friends. Final Tabata. Two exercises, starfish and penguin. Starfish, love these ones. Really a full body workout. And it's a little bit of cardio too. So I'm hinging forward, touching my ankles, shin, or knees. And then I'm leaning back, big arms up. And then exhaling, crunching forward. If you want to add in lower body, and really make a big star and crunch forward, go for it. That second exercise, you can do with or without weights. We're going for penguins, reaching down to the right and down to the left, just like so. Are you ready? When that whistle blows, we're going into those starfish. We can start in this hinge position, kind of reaching forward. Work. Open up nice and big one. and exhale forward. Inhale, big arms up and exhale forward. Again, you want to incorporate legs? Go for it. We kind of look like a starfish. Here. <laughs> yeah, that's why they're called that. Crunch it forward. Nice. Rest. Rest. Notice every time you reach those arms and then exhale forward, we're really crunching those abs, bringing chest towards those thighs. You're going to find yourself a little bit out of breath too because it's a little bit of a cardio move. Here we go. Work. Round two. Use that breath. Exhale as you bring that chest towards those knees. You also don't have to reach. You can always reach it forward too. Big arms up and reach it forward. Good. Good. Rest. Rest. Two more just like that. Ready? All right, let's do this. Work. Round three. If you're able to incorporate lower legs or lower body, I encourage you to do it. It's kind of fun. You really got to use lower abs to get those feet back in the center, from wide to the center. But if that's too much, keep the feet together. Nice. Woo! Last one here, and then we're moving on to those penguins. I don't know, this music just makes me want to dance, so if you want to use these rest breaks as dance, go for it. Active recovery. Yep. Ooh, we got this. Stay strong. Lean it back. Crunch it forward. Rest. All right, we're going for Rest. penguins. I'm going to use my weight. It just adds a little bit of extra resistance. I want you to roll those shoulders down and back. Core stays nice and strong. And we're just going to lean to the right, come Round back to center, five. lean to the left. Good. Like I said, the weights just add a little bit more resistance. If that's too much, don't use the weights. Good, we're working those obliques. Inhale down, exhale up. Nice. I'm gonna drop those weights this time. This time I'm gonna add a little bit of something. We're gonna go two to the right, two to the left, okay? A little bit of coordination, so two to the right. You can keep that hand on the weights. Down to the left. Good. Down to the right for two. Sometimes if I hold on to my side, I can really feel those obliques engage. What you call kind of like tactile. Good. Nice. And rest. rest. All right, here's your last challenge. We're gonna stick to the right side for 20 seconds and go to the left side for 20 seconds. If that's too much, just keep alternating, okay? So my hand's gonna be on this waist and I'm gonna lean it Work. down and Round up. seven. I'm feeling, with this hand on my hip, those obliques engage. Good. Sometimes if we're touching those muscles, it helps our body say, oh, that's the muscle I'm working. Then you should work it even harder. Good. 
This move's also functional. If I drop my keys, I gotta lean down and pick them up. My core needs to be strong enough to get me back up. We're going to the other side. So now this time my hand's on my left hip, right hand's down to the ground, and I'm reaching those fingertips down and up. Round eight. Round number eight. Final one, friends. And then we're gonna stretch it out and call it a day. Good. Let's go. Yep. Rest. Beautiful Rest. work. We are going to stretch it out and call it a day. Friends, you are stronger than MS. Well, friends, we did it. Tabata workout complete. Nice full body workout. Fun way to get some high intensity interval training from a seated position. Amazing. So we're gonna stretch it out now. Take a big breath in up overhead. Lengthening in the spine, reaching it up nice and high. Exhale, press those hands down. A couple shoulder rolls. Hope you're feeling good. Inhale up and exhale down. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do so you don't miss fun workouts like this or others. Good. Exhale, reach arms back behind. I'm just grabbing my chair, but you can clasp hands together, getting a nice stretch in the chest. Open up nice and big, squeezing those shoulder blades. I'm just gonna take a couple big, de big deep breaths here. This time as we breathe in, exhale, round arms forward, rounding in the back, reaching arms forward, stretching out those shoulder blades. Feels so good. Good job. Let's open up arms nice and wide, pull fingertips up to the sky, nice stretch in those forearms. Exhale, one arm comes across, hug that arm to your chest, looking over the shoulder, rotating in the wrist. Open up arms nice and big, pull fingertips up. Exhale over, other side. And shake it out. Do a little bit of spinal twist, we're gonna breathe in. Twist those shoulders to one side. Nice spinal twist here. I don't know about you, but moving my body is so good for me not just physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. Good, take a big breath in. Exhale and twist to the other side. There's something about moving our bodies that gets those endorphins going, helps shift my mood, helps shift my mindset. Maybe taking a break from life, sometimes life's just hard, right? So it's good to move our bodies. Also show MS who's boss, right? Big breath in. Exhale, come to the center. All right, let's grab underneath the knee. So pull that knee up towards your chest. I'm rotating in my ankle, point and flexing the toe. Nice stretch in those hip flexors. As I breathe in, I'm hugging a little higher and then exhale, lengthen leg long, heels in the ground, toes pointing up, nice little hamstring stretch here. Maybe I can grab that toe, maybe I just grab the knee, ankle, shin. Feeling a nice stretch in the back side of the leg. Let's pull that knee up nice and high, grabbing the ankle, placing it on top of our thigh and hinging forward. Love this glute stretch, feels so good. Play with the different angles or pressures. Use this time of stretching as a nice cool down, listening to your body, kind of checking in, seeing how we're feeling post-workout. Sometimes it's a good indicator of like, wow, I worked too hard, or man, my weights were too heavy, or not heavy enough. The more you do things, the more your endurance and your strength will improve and increase. So keep that in mind. That's why I always sometimes have like five different sets of weights because I just never really know how I'm gonna feel that day. Pull that knee, other knee up. Rotate and point, flex the toe. I always say, you know, we have to give ourselves permission to slow down, modify, do the seated option, or maybe rest for a round. It is okay, because I don't want to use up all of my energy for a workout and not be able to do anything else the rest of the day. And so we've got to learn to listen to our bodies, pace ourselves, exhale, lengthen long. But that is also a journey. I know for me, it's like a 
a challenging one of fighting my pride and wanting to do everything, but some days I just can't, and that is okay. All right, pull that knee up, place that ankle on top of your thigh, and it forward. Well, super proud of you. If no one's told you today, I am proud of you. You worked hard. You should be proud of yourself. You are strong today. Yes, hopefully you're feeling good and successful. Make sure you find me on Instagram too. Tag me in a photo. I wanna see that you're working out with me, you know? Show me that sweaty selfie of yours. At Keep Moving with Emily is how you can find me. Pull that knee in. Place the foot on the floor. One more big breath in up to the sky. And exhale it out. Friends, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Emily, your adaptive fitness trainer, and I was helping you keep moving today. Well done, friends, and make sure to join me back next time for another Keep Moving with Emily. Have a great day. Bye.